Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Sophie Joe. Thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, let's see what my new intro. All right. Anyways, I just wanted to introduce this week's vlog. Today is Wednesday, I think, and I just got in recording two videos, so be on the lookout. I did a what's in my bag, and it was just this protect black people purse that I love so much. And then I did my everyday makeup for spring. Um, and yeah, so just wanted to hop on the cam, on the vlog. I think I'm gonna go downstairs and make some lemon chicken um probably with some potatoes y'all i know good and well that this lip plumping lip gloss is not working because i'm just looking at my lips and it's giving beverly hills it's giving injections i did overline the top just a bit but they do look a little bigger not that i needed it but this is the lip gloss that i have on top of my lipstick and this is milani's lip gloss in moonlight and it's supposed to be a lip plumping yeah a nourishing lip plumper okay man let me find out but anyways yeah guys i'm just excited that i got those two videos done because i had them planned out let me show you guys this is my planner and this is my third year ordering from this brand y'all should get into this brand black brand it's black owned and it's woman owned so they're the planner line i've been ordering it from them for three years now it's i love it it's so beautiful and it's just everything look at the artwork it's perfection anyways i just wanted to show you guys what month are we in march we well, in april Dang. but anyways i wanted to show y'all i've been just kind of planning out some youtube things don't look too hard but you know what I'm, saying? I'm planning out some youtube videos or whatever um and yeah so we are getting things done how do y'all feel about these glasses? I love these. These are so cute. But I'm not gonna lie, I feel like they only look good on me when I have makeup on. <laughs> Cause they are very like dramatic. They're big, oversized, which is great because I got a big head. But they are a little heavy. But yeah, these are from Shein. And I um, found them because I saw someone with them on TikTok. Yes, ma'am. I have an online order for Sophie. Okay, please pull forward. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. Mm. Mm. This is delish. Good morning guys um i am on my way to my follow-up dentist appointment so they can make sure everything is good with my teeth from last week um but i placed an online pickup order for my chai not starbucks for my dunkin donuts so this is a medium cold brew um three pumps of vanilla unsweet so that's what i use at home unsweet vanilla syrup because it tastes like the regular one um three cream and then just one liquid sugar and then it has uh sweet cold foam on top dang and then it has sweet cold foam on top but anyways yeah my way to the dentist and then 
and then I'm gonna go to the beauty supply store because I actually want to do um, a faux or fake ponytail and then it was something else oh I need some lash adhesive thing I'll show you guys what I'm doing it'll be in this vlog um, Hey guys, as you can tell by the tone of my voice, we're in a calm mood because we are going to be doing a get unready with me. So I've had a full day and it's time to take all this makeup off. Let you guys see some of the products that I like to use at night on my face. This is not a skincare routine, but if you guys want that, I can give you the it soon. Ooh, off comes the glasses, okay? Holla back. Going to just take the jewelry off. Take it all off. All right, lashes are, dang, it was ooh, barely on. To remove my makeup today, I'm gonna to be using uh, my Clinique take the day off makeup remover this works really good um, but to me it's basically like coconut oil so you can literally use coconut oil if you don't want to spend like 30 bucks on this you can just use coconut oil um, and because I have a huge pet peeve of water running down my arms I'm gonna put these scrunchies on my wrist to catch the water And while I have you guys here, I did want to talk a little bit about like friendships and wanting to make new friends and all that good stuff. I was just watching Haley Gamba on YouTube's video about making new friends as an adult and all that kind of stuff. And it was really coincidental because the last probably year and a half, I've like just been saying I really want to make some new friends I really want to meet new people um, like the few friends that I have now they're cool but sometimes you just want to meet new people maybe people who have a little more things of um, the same interests as you maybe you have a little more things in common and I think often we feel a little bad that the original friends that we do have maybe we feel like kind of like in a relationship you feel like you're cheating on somebody but um, because, you know, you're hanging out and forming these new relationships with new people when it's like, why are you trying to find new friends when you have friends? But I don't know. I feel like I'm almost in a way longing for like a really good friend group um, or even like one main like I have friends, of course, and I don't want any of my friends take this the wrong way if they're watching this I have good friends I have you know a few close friends but I actually don't have a best friend and I know to some people it's not a big deal a lot of people will say Jesus is your friend you don't need no friends but that's not true everyone wants at least one person who like you know you can kiki with you can be goofy with you can be serious with you can you know go places with maybe even go on a trip with like no one wants to be alone and I'm not saying I'm alone because like I said I have a few friends but I feel like I don't have friends that I guess what I'm saying is I would like friends that have more of the same interests that I have um, this is just a Neutrogena makeup remover wipe and I'm wiping off that Clinique Yeah, like a lot of my a lot of my friends don't even live here anymore, so it's not like we can just hang out, like you know, go grab drinks or whatever. They literally moved out the freaking city. All right, makeup is off. Now I am going to go in and wash my face with the Sarah Bay Renewing SA Cleanser, and I'm using my Foreo little. Um, face cleansing brush which is made out of silicone but I think the 
hardest part about wanting to make new friends and meet new people is being a grown-up because if you think about it most friendships are made in school when whether you're a kid and you still have that same friend from elementary middle school or high school you make friends a lot of friends in school or at work when I went to college because I kind of did flip-flops um, universities I didn't even form like super loyal uh, or lifelong friendships you know and the friends that I do have from high school we are close we are good friends but it's still I don't know I don't even know how to word it but I think well I know being in your 20s or being an adult it's hard to make new friends because nine or eight times out of ten they already have their friends and their friend groups and you know a lot of people use the saying no new friends which is cool but how are you supposed to make new friends if, if, if no one's open and willing to make new friends and I dry my face with paper towel What I really think is a problem is I don't have friends who want to do like some of the things that I want to do or that I'm interested in. I guess more on the girlier side of things like go get brunch, go get our nails done, maybe, you know, hit up the mall or something like that. Um, just similar interests, even like with YouTube and we don't have to be doing the same thing, obviously, but I'm just ready and open to new friendships. Don't know how to find them, but um, I was watching Haley's video, like I told y'all, and she was saying social media, you can like actually become friends with people, maybe people that you follow and maybe they follow you back and y'all kind of always like interact on each other's um, posts, like a, you know, smiley face, hard eye, fire sign or anything like that. Maybe shoot them a DM. Hey, you want to grab brunch one day? Something like that. So maybe I'll work on that. Um, and also, I probably just need to get out more, I guess. Um, I've been going to the gym lately, so maybe I'll find someone there who I can become friends with one day. I don't know. Or like, I don't really hang out that much. Um, I don't know. I think somebody needs to invent an app where you're looking for just friends, like good friends good conversation good energy no weird jealousy type stuff you guys have fun but you know maybe intelligent too i'm in search anyways i am using mario badescu um vitamin c serum and i just pat that in but yeah guys so if anyone has any tips on how to make meet and make new friends um in your 20s because it's tough i know how to be a friend because that's one of the issues you know i feel like i'm constantly like reaching out and trying to like hang out with friends and make plans and do stuff and i'm not really receiving it i'm you know how i should be um and also, like, I just want to meet new people. The people I have are cool, but I also want to meet new people as well. Um, then I'm going to go in with my Clinique. Ooh, my battery's about to die. Face lotion. This is my moisturizer. I love the velvety texture that it has. And lastly, my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is in the flavor Grapefruit. And these things are the best. There's a reason why these are so hyped up. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, and that concludes my Get Unready With Me. Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare to be sick of me. You hear me? Y'all, your girl finally got her hair done. Y'all, I've been wanting some braids for so 
so long. It's been a long time coming. But anyways, I got the braids. I'm so excited because like this, like my hair will be like out of my way. I don't have to worry about it for a minute. I'm, I've been working out. My hair is sweaty. I'm tired of wearing hats. It's just a mess. So now I don't have to worry about it. I didn't get knotless braids because I kind of don't really like knotless braids because they make your scalp kind of look like you ain't got no hair and they don't last as long and I want these to last for a while so prepare to be sick of me but um yeah I still got them small they're pretty small but they're box braids and they're really neat the same girl I've been going to for years shout out to Dominique and Dominique just moved into my neighborhood. Like, what the heck? She, I literally could have walked to her house this morning. Um, hold on. Hello? Hey, uh, girl. I just went and picked me up some Chick-fil-A. But I wanted to do a little razzle-dazzle because I'm so boring when it comes to my hair or whatever. But I wanted something a little spicy, so... I got some blonde in the back underneath. You barely can see. It's just in the back um, peeking through. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm just so excited that my hair is taken care of. Now, tomorrow's Friday. I have to prepare for a picnic booking that I have for Saturday. Um, and I didn't even share the news with you guys, but I have two of my largest picnics ever coming up back to back. Um, May 15th, I have a picnic for 15 people for a graduation. It's a girl's graduation thingy. That's going to be nice. And then the following weekend, I have a picnic for a baby shower for 25 people in Atlanta. That's an hour and a half away. So, not my little business, boomy. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go home, enjoy this Chick-fil-A. Um do all of it and I will probably talk to you guys later. <laughs>